If you have siblings, you're either the sibling that got chased around with a knife or the one that's doing the chasing. Or... If you're the youngest, you're probably the one your parents forgot about the most while simultaneously being babied into your adulthood. Hi, my name's Dan and I'm the eldest of three siblings in an immigrant's household. Therefore, I had to grow up way before my years, becoming a demented perfectionist with an overwhelming fear of failure, while trying to meet the expectations of my parents and every single family member I have overseas. Uh, Dan? You know you can't keep doing this, right? Eh, it's free therapy. Anyways, y'all got siblings? <coughs> y'all ever just, like... Ruin their lives? Totally by accident, you know? Oh man, is this thing on? <laughs> Sorry we're late. Sister was hogging the bathroom. I don't know why, but my sisters had this grand illusion that I was smart. Ate! What do you want? So, um, like, uh, how do flowers make babies? Ooh, I know that one. So, a bee goes to one flower and takes the pollens of that flower to a different flower and then boom, pregnant, boom, baby flower. And it's that easy. p p p p, -p, -p pollens Yeah! Wait, what do I do? Wh why are you crying? Ate! Don't tell mom! But I, I think I'm pregnant. Little idiot say what? But you're like nine. What do you mean? I was at the park with my friends and they dared me to eat some pollens. Huh. <laughs> so I had to break the news to her that she was most definitely not pregnant. Like two weeks later, after she did all my chores. But what kind of sister would I be if I didn't teach her the valuable lesson of not having flower babies? And not eating random things because your friend said so. You know, like that thing they call peer pressure. I recently found out that my little sister didn't have eyelashes for like a year. Because of me. Wait. Don't move. Okay. Make a wish, and then blow. Why? You know how you make a wish on your birthday? Yeah. Okay, same thing, but this time, it's with your eyelashes. Oh, cool! Wait, uh, what are you... <gasps> I guess it wasn't very specific. My sister, Ro, was my roommate, and we shared the basement together. We didn't have walls or doors, and we only really had curtains to dictate where her room ended and where mine began. Bro, get out of my room. But I'm not in your room. Leave, or I'm gonna fart. Ate has chosen chemical warfare. Ate, what if I just blow out a candle? My sister had a terrible habit of never turning off the lights. And when you have curtains for walls... The lights are just beaming into my eyeballs at 3 a.m. every single night. Ate! Told you to turn off the lights, but you didn't. Oh, hey, a cat. If your parents ever told you that they don't have favorites, they're probably telling you the truth because parents never lie. Why would they do that? That's messed up. Sibling rivalry. The ultimate battle to win your parents' affections by being the best child. Me and my sisters would always try to one-up each other on literally everything. Guys, look, I found diamond! Took you long enough. Hey, I built a whole minecart system with redstone that drops you into lava. You can also see Nyan Cat right before you die. Ah. 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 
since we all know that I'm obviously the best dad, my sisters would always try to get me in trouble. Ma, Ate came home five minutes late today. Ma, Ate got a call from a boy. Ma! Mama! Uh, never mind. Growing up with sisters also meant that your closet is free real estate. Hey, have you seen my Game of Thrones shirt? Uh, no, but you're wearing it right now. No, I'm not, but... Ma, Ate doesn't want to share. Me and my sisters were always ready to uninstall each other from existence until the day I ran away from home. Life happens really fast. And in a blink of an eye, my annoying gremlin sisters somehow grew up and became my best friends. From late night talks about boys that broke our hearts to late night cry sessions about the struggles of life. And somehow, I know they'll always be there for me. And no matter how old we get, I know for a fact they'll always make fun of me whenever I chop off my hair and look like Dora. Because if your siblings don't let you know how stupid you look before you go out after making terrible life decisions, do they even love you? And as annoying as my sisters were, I wouldn't trade them for the world.